So the canvas element, uh, before I get into how to create it, is basically, um, it's a new element in HTML5 that is sort of like an image, a video, or a uh, audio tag, um, except it's not, uh, it's not a, a type of media that, uh, that's pre-existing, it's one that's gonna be edited on the fly, or created on the fly. Um, so what it is, is it's sort of just like a canvas, like a painter would paint on, and then you are the, as the web developer, have the paintbrush, and you can kind of paint into this canvas whatever you want using JavaScript uh, circles and things like this. And, and it's very, very versatile because you can, uh, you can basically make anything, and you can make it, uh, you can make it uh, display different information based on uh, dynamically updating information, based on user input, based on stocks, based on uh, almost anything. Um, so you can make you can do almost anything with this. Uh, it, it's in some ways, it's very much like Flash, um, except it doesn't require a Flash plugin. It'll be supported in every browser that supports Canvas, and it's already supported very well in a lot of good browsers today. So the first thing uh, you want, need to learn how to do is create the HTML side of the Canvas element. Um, it's uh, the HTML part is just the canvas tag, very simple, canvas, and then stop canvas, and uh, that's, that's basically it. And the rest is just giving it little hooks and things and, uh, and taking into account uh, backwards compatibility. So you'll need to give it an ID. I've given it the ID of my canvas here, um, and that'll allow you to uh, grab it with JavaScript later, and then a width and a height because there's not a default. Uh, I think the default may be uh, 150 by 300. Um, but if you can make it whatever you want. Um, and then anything in the content of the Canvas element is the fallback material. So if your browser doesn't support Canvas, um, anything that goes in, in here, and it can be any sort of uh, flow, co flow content, uh, will be displayed to the browser. And so you don't want to be giving it uh, something that says, your browser can't do this, you suck. You want to you wanna be giving it some alternative content if possible. So say you're using Canvas to do some stock update graph charts or something like that. You may just give a static image of a, of a stock chart. Um, or uh, you can also give a very polite link to uh, a place where they could upgrade their browser to, uh, to uh, something that will actually support the Canvas element. Um, but you want it to be as useful as possible. Uh, and you want to give options. Um, so let's uh, go over to code really quick and I'll create the canvas element. So this, this page here is uh, just a, a basic page right now. It doesn't have anything uh, in it, but um, I'm gonna type the canvas element in. It's case sensitive ID. And you don't need to specify units uh, in, in pixels or whatever. So here's the canvas element, very simple. And it, in, in its content, I'm just going to put a little note. actual website, I would uh, do something a little bit nicer than this, maybe find some fallback content. Um, and just, uh, I've already prepared some CSS that gives the, ba the canvas some styling, so I've given it a little border. Um, now when I load it in the page and reload, uh, that was what you just saw was what, it, what I had prepared earlier. This is what's uh, in the page now. Uh, you get the canvas element, and it's 150 by 150, like I specified there. And uh, the CSS is giving a little border, and that's it. It's not an image, it's a canvas. So that is the HTML side of it, very simple. Um, where it gets complicated is 